Okay, so this is a battle against Star Weaver and Raven. Star Weaver will be playing Legion of Arrowblade, and Raven will be playing the Crux Army. Scenery is um, to forests, a uh, bit in the middle bit of the table. Uh, ruins up the north, another house up the north, two hedges, uh, one house to the south, and one house to the uh, west. Uh, we have the scenario was no man's land. And the dice off was from Star Weaver 4 and for Raven 2. So Star Weaver will be playing first. So this is Star Weaver's deployment. Okay, list may look a little bit familiar. I didn't uh, expect a second game today, so I only have one list prepared. Hex Hunters with Bayal. Canivian, Befeen and Belfagor, Revagor, for the United Legionnaires. Oké okay, folks, we have Raven's deployment here. Raven. Yes, uh, so for this time I started uh, playing Epic Scarf. Should be my second battle with her, or third. We put in a blow thrall, a Scarlock, a Cedar, a Death Jack, the Sludge thingy, the War with Siren, and the full unit of the Texas with the UA. Um, well, basically, the Texas costs here fast, that's about it actually. And both roll for some ranged AOE. And the rest is just going for casting can I suppose. Oké, okay, so the start as usual. Befeen cast Kangnivor on the Legionnaires and Ashing Vale on the Hexhunters. Moved forward a bit. Carnivian. Uh, she also cast Spiny Grove on the Revagor. Revagor moved forward and ruled. Carnivian moved forward, ruled and casted Spiny Grove on itself. Legionnaires moved forward and Hex Hunters ran forward. And that was it. So we started with uh, giving my Cedar uh, one focus, making it two. Jeff Jack got his own two focus. Um, then I started the activations. I started to begin with with the uh, Raiders, ran up. Uh, then I moved the Orbit Siren, gave Power Booster to the Chicken, ran that one up. Then I activated Death Chick, ran that one up. Cedar joined them in running as well. Scar moved forward, cast it Death Ward. That means plus 2 RM and I get to choose the damage column where it goes to. And at the mission on the Chicken. And then she ended her activation, Scar running up. Uh, and the Blood Wall making a pot shot at the Hex Hunter and did nothing on the scatter. And that was it. Okay. Uh, Revagor moved forward, took a shot at the death jack and did free damage. Legionnaires moved up. I didn't upkeep uh, Carnivore this round. No, no, did it. Uh, did upkeep it. Also upkept Ashen Vale. They ran forward and one ran to engage the blood fall. Belfagor moved up. Befeen moved up and channeled Spiny Grove through him on the Death Eruption Jack. Eruption of Spines. Eruption of Spines, I'm sorry. Keep getting that one wrong. On the Death Jack, hoping I might roll hold enough, high enough and take something else with it. But unfortunately, I won on the number of extra targets. So no kills this turn. And that's it. Okay. Welcome to round two, turn two. Raven. Care to explain? What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> um, I started with uh, upkeeping only Death Ward. I dropped Admiration. 
And then I moved uh, the sister up again, or the Warwick Siren. Gave it uh, a few, uh, focus to the chicken, chicken ran up. Uh, then I activated Scar, Scar moved from here to there. The seed was standing up that point here. Then she calls a perdition through the Arc Node onto the Legionnaire, which is easily to hit with a bigger uh, defense 12. Boosted anyway just to uh, prevent the to uh, topple of uh, double ones. Hit it, killed it. Then I moved the Death Jack from here to there. Um, and then I choose to trample all the way to Bethane. With a fully fire floated focus dude. Uh, pop the feet before that so that it couldn't be targeted by three strikes or any other stuff that's basically happening. And I wailed on Bethane bringing it down back to three points? Four points? Three points. At that point my opponent didn't saw any life saving effort and he chose to um, concede at that point. Yeah, and to clarify that, he used uh, his feet, the death jack, the jack over there, and this caster, and the bloat fall. Cannot be targeted by attacks, so I can't slam him away. If I move away, I get free strike to death. I'm in a good position to make a assassination run, but I can't target the caster. So next turn, he will have this jack still over here, because I can't beat it to death, I can't slam it away. If I try to slam my caster away, I will pretty much certainly kill her. So next turn, it will be there in base contact with my caster, and he will put the last fist to the face. So, so speak. I just gave up at this point. What did we learn? Perdition is scary. <laughs> 